Judy Prince, my wife, said, why don't you do a show about kids? And I thought, you know a play you used to just love was Merrily We Roll Along? And so he suggested to me, and I knew the play and thought it was a swell idea. This is Steve Sondheim, everybody. Steven Sondheim and Hal Prince, they were like, of course, my idols. They were the gods of Broadway. They were one. There was a casting notice that they were having open calls for a new Sondheim show, and they wanted young people. Come on. There were 5,000 people that auditioned, or more 12,000, I think, maybe. Steve Sondheim, Hal Prince, who else could have been in that room? Christ and Moses, or... <laughs> I mean, the good news is that, uh, is that you're all in the show. <laughs> I've never been happier rehearsing actors. I've never gone home sure that a show was going to be a success. I thought, this is just it. I just didn't feel for these characters. Funks, lurches, and on several occasions, faints dead away. I've never seen rows of people bleed. Here was my chance to write about these heroes of mine, and I knew the show would fail. It was a painful piece to write. That was the day before I was fired. It was like we are flying, and then suddenly we crash. What just happened here? It was the hostility that had built up towards Hal and me, and I thought, I got to get out of this. That play was all about those who follow their dreams, those who have just bad breaks, those who have good breaks. And so I would have thought that's the way it's going to work out for all these kids. There's good stuff under there. And it says try out. This show, if I never do anything again in the rest of my life, I will have had this moment. You know, there's only a few moments in your life that are, are truly transcendent. It was one of the better things that ever happened to me. It's I.